the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. December 1st, 2020. China is going hard against gambling and gambling-related outflows and crypto. All of this stuff is all tangled together. It's all part of Xi Jinping's China policy as directed towards these uh, sectors, and it's only getting stronger over time. China is very, mainland China is very anti-gambling and is very suspicious of crypto technology. Attention to detail in art. I've mentioned this uh, before over the past months and probably years that the United States' real principal advantage is imagination and risk-taking. Uh, and on the art side of things as well, I think that side of the culture has found its way into the entertainment and everything else, and that is uh, why we have a, such a strong economy. One of the reasons, well, one of the things I've noticed as China has become this major player uh, over the last 20 years is how they've gone from basically selling firecrackers to uh, building moon rockets. Also, they are very, very good with the art detail. And I watched a program some time ago about China's return to art, getting reconnected uh, to their art history, which was kind of lost in the communist revolution. So pay very close attention to that because that creative side is really one of the last remaining advantages that we have. Um, you know, it's something very unique to America. Uh, and as they reconnect to their culture and their history and the artistic side of it, um, that is going to become a bigger threat uh, to the United States in terms of global competition. I think particularly about branding and marketing, one of the things they really don't have any handle on. Uh, it's it's the branding, the way their messages are put out and all of that. They really haven't figured it out. But when they reconnect to the art, uh, that's a pathway back to that. So keep an eye on that. Lego ads. So I've been noticing a lot of Lego ads on streaming videos of various um, sites and sources. Um, interesting that they're kind of connecting like we are to the Build Back Better message uh, put out by Biden as a presidential candidate and now as policy. I'm going to be posting an Ask Me Anything sign-up page on the ASM Notice Board in the next few days where uh, you can sign up for the live session if you want to ask questions. Uh, so you'll see that in a few days. Uh, gold, land, and other assets do not disappear when the power goes out. Crypto does. Hyping for the holidays is what they're doing right now. They've done this just about every year. Uh, remember that uh, very, very, very few wallets control the price. Do your own research. You don't have to believe me. There's plenty of that out there. Uh, just look at the markets. Look at the publicly available information and just be very careful because these markets crash constantly. There are thefts. There are redemption issues. There are tax and reporting issues. Watch that stuff. IRS is very getting very sharp on these things and, and so forth. So anyway, fine. I've, my position on this is clear. It's not going to change. Uh, Crypto is not an asset. It's not anything. It's a fiction. Uh, it's just a mathematical construct. And uh, you know, by my definition of assets, if the if the electricity goes out and your asset disappears, it wasn't an asset. So Zappos CEO, very strange. Um, I don't know what the heck this is, but my gut tells me something very very bizarre took place here. Um, I, that's all I have to say. There was a show called, uh, or is a show called Losing Las Vegas. I just kind of stumbled on. Um, yeah. So if somebody's going to put the money and time into producing a show called Losing Las Vegas, there's problems. Uh, gambling and crypto are attacks on democracy itself. Hear that clearly. That's my policy statement. Gambling and crypto are attacks on democracy itself. I'll say it one more time for the third time. Gambling and crypto are attacks on democracy itself. Legal scholars do not exist. No such thing exists. Legal opinions and legal letterheads. Legal, legal opinions and legal letterheads exist. But legal scholars do not exist. That does not exist. Doug Ducey. Doug Ducey is my new favorite politician. You're going to know what that is. I don't even have to say what it is. Here come the lockdowns. Los Angeles is already under one. The NFL is teetering. 
the NFL is definitely teetering. So keep an eye on that. China, uh, moon, China to the moon, story today, big news. Again, the advances are, are, are unmistakable. And uh, in the last 20, 25 years, it's just been astounding how far China has come. So meeting notes from last night. So we um, held a conference video last night and spent about two and a half hours discussing uh, the next steps and the things that have been work, being worked on in the background. Um, I'm working on two, really two main parts, what I call the air game and the ground game. The air game, game is the press. Um, anybody who's been around for a while knows that we've had quite good success with that. Um, all of those pieces are still there. Uh, we can activate them when we need to activate them. Um, I've been talking to Ace about helping him promote the new movie that he put he's putting out with Zach and uh, James Hong. Um, so, you know, they asked me if I'd give him a hand with that, which I will. And I've learned a lot of stuff that I, I'm, I'm sure I can uh, help them get their movie uh, publicized. So, um, so that's the air game. So that's um, what we're going to do for ASM. The next time you're going to see a press release from us is going to be the uh, 20th of January to coincide with the um, inauguration. So um, here's the staging over the next uh, next month, basically month month and a half, almost two months. So January 1st, 2021, the entire all sports market, both the learning side of the market and the pilot side of the market will split two to one across the board. It usually takes about 48 to 72 hours for the routines to run. So it'll probably be the 3rd of January when it finishes. So all sports shares, not not company shares, not, not grants of company stock, just the sports shares, both sides, two to one. You don't need to do anything. It will happen automatically. So that's um, so what's going to happen is on the 20th of January, which is a Tuesday, the best, absolute best day to put out a press release. We've done a lot of testing over the years. So we're going to put out a press release on that day uh, to announce the um, – all sports market nation builder platform. Um, that's the ground game. So I'm um, going to tie into the inauguration and the trends and all of that uh, that'll be happening on on inauguration day to uh, suck our message into that conversation. Now, I've been studying a lot of that uh, strategy and watching how that's done, and I'm confident that we can put out a press release on inauguration day um, early, and I can get it covered. And it will, and then we can grab onto those social trends and stuff to advance the sports vote. So the ground game is going to be uh, allsportsmarket.nationbuilder.com. That's the ground game. Uh, that platform, I'm building it out all through the month of December. If you want to claim your profile, go right ahead. It doesn't cost anything. Um, but you're going to continue to see that build. It has um, rewards in it. We're going to talk about uh, building out a reward system because it will reward you for contacting your local congressman. It will con it will reward you for sharing the materials. So the idea here is basically it's a political campaign in a box. It's something that I hoped existed, and I just totally stumbled upon it because I heard a KCRW ad here in Los Angeles, and that, that company is actually here too, which is really good in case we need to go uh, talk about some specific things. Um, I, I would like to see maybe even if they would want to do a, a combined press release. That's always something to at least ask. So um, so we're going to put that out. So what happens on the 20th is that we're going to announce to the world what we're what we're looking for, right, through the Nation Builder platform. And what we're looking for is obviously, you know, people to know that we're here and what this is about. And this is how we get our name and our our proposition in front of the uh, people on the ground in all of the states and use their uh, enthusiasm and their desire to help to have them reach out to their own local um, elected representatives to to uh, advance this idea. Because you can be sure that in all the states that the gambling guys are making their pitch. So this is our way to compete with that by uh, using this system and building an army of people by putting out the press release and then uh, you know explaining what it is, taking questions and all of that stuff, the hard questions, the easy questions, all the questions. And um, and then if they're in, the ones that are interested, they can go to the library. They can pull their state's um, financial data. We're actually going to model the state budgets state by state so they can forward that documentation to their local representatives under their own name. So they're constituent, you know, they're a constituent to that uh, elected official. And 
and at least put the proposition on the table in front of everybody from the local constituent side. So this is a grassroots version of, uh, you know, uh, a political campaign. It's exactly what it is. And I'm, I'm very excited about the setup because I see the potential of the tools. It's a big universe of stuff that I'm just really starting to, to, uh, to understand. Uh, it's a whole ecosystem of electioneering stuff. But I see the core is here and that it can be configured in such a way as we can scale it up and, um, and accomplish the goal. And remember, what is the goal? The goal is one single thing, and that is to get one single league candidate that is acceptable to Alper. He's setting the criteria. That's the next step. Next time we have a meeting is going to be the exact criteria because I need to have that in order to uh, tell everybody what we're looking for. And then we launch. So, so the whole thing takes off. Um, press and all on on election or on on inauguration day in 2021, January 20th, 2021. We launch the air game to support the ground game, and we use um, Berkshire Hathaway. Their um, PR agency is Business Wire. It's the top tier. I've never used it because I wanted to save it for when we really had uh, the important need. Because if you you get this out and and put a little muscle behind it, meaning you know forwarding it to to press friendlies, and this is the route to a front page story uh, on the New York Times. Seriously, I'm not saying that I can pull that off or that we can pull that off, but I'm saying that's how you can get there is with a business wire press release properly done, um, you know, and all the stars line up. I mean, there's there's certainly a lot of art to this. Okay, so and then um, July fourth, twenty twenty one, is going to be the release date for the Sports Vote Manifesto. Um, it was basically uh, screwed up by the COVID nineteen, and the whole publishing industry uh, pulled all their stuff down, and I pulled mine down as well. I had it on the calendar and pulled it down. I'm not going to go against that trend. We want to be in that trend, not run against it. So July fourth, twenty twenty one. So we we lost a year there, but it'll just give me time to make it better. And, and put more meat on the bone to prove what we're saying. So at the end of the day, what happens on January 2021, January 20th, 2021, is we fully launch our um, sports vote campaign with a press release. And the headline message is basically vote for sports and build the new American dream. So thank you very much. Um, the pandemic is not looking good. Uh, so please, please take the medical guidance very seriously. Um, it's, it's, uh, th this thing is unfortunately not done with us. So, uh, bye now.